from early times, there were people who uh, worshipped the creation itself. So yeah. they would take different aspects of the creation. If they lived by a river, then the river was God. Mm. If they lived in a desert with big rocks, then they would worship around the rocks. Yeah. Probably uh, the most important um, god of the ancient world was the sun. Mm -hmm. So the sun god became the symbol of power and authority. And in Europe, as in other many parts of the world, they would structure their holidays and structure their, their religion around seasons. And it was in the winter solstice, especially in the northern countries, that they would celebrate um, the returning of the sun. Mm -hmm. Because around December 22nd or so, this is like the longest day, and then it goes in by December 25th now, it's changing back. And so in many northern countries where it's very cold, um, it was dangerous to be living during the winter. People would die because yeah. they didn't have central heating and whatnot. And, and then in, if you're really far north, in, de in, in December, the sun goes away for maybe 20, 20 days, sometimes a whole month. Yeah. It's dark outside. Mm -hmm. So they would literally light bonfires and they would make certain idols and have special uh, symbols in order to bring the sun god back. Yeah. And so these ceremonies were developed in the north and the Greeks and the Romans had, uh, they had the Saturnalia, which was for Saturn. And, and this is like the god of time, the sun god. And so special cer ceremonies were held at that time where they would um, uh, make sacrifices and um, they would have certain symbols. And uh, Even the Romans, uh, it was reported that they would sacrifice many of the early Christians when Christianity or the followers of Jesus, peace be upon him, came into Rome. Mm -hmm they would sacrifice them to the lions and, uh, and whatnot. And so when uh, Christianity, when the teachings finally became strong in Rome, they no longer sacrificed people. But then on, on that December 25th, they had gave out little dolls and they would say to each other, Bona Saturnalia, mm -hmm. which means like today we would say Merry Christmas. And around their Colosseums, they would put lights. So the light concept around the building that was there in ancient times. Also, uh, in the northern countries, they would bring the fir tree into the house because the fir tree was the only living thing in, in, in the cold countries. Yeah. And so they figured that there must be some power that this tree has. So they wanted that spiritual power in their house in order to protect them from evil and give them good, give them health. So they would bring in the fir tree and they would put a, a, a light on the top of it. That represented the sun god. All of these symbols were actually from the ancient world. I was really surprised to find out when I visited ancient Egypt, you find in, in the ancient times they had what is called the Ankh, and that is like a cross with a loop on the top. And that was the original cross. So the cross was a symbol in the ancient world that stood for eternal life. And so when the followers of Jesus, peace be upon him, when they came into that area and they were suffering and they couldn't take the pain, so somebody must have made the decision. If you can't beat them, join them. Mm. And so uh, a, 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 an amalgamation of the two religions came about. And so they celebrated the birth of Christ uh, on the December 25th. And when actually the, the religious historians will tell you that Jesus, peace be upon him, was not born in the winter. Uh -huh. Because even according to the cr Christian traditions, yeah. the, um, the, the, the flocks uh, were being were outside, the, yeah. you know, the, 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 ma the manger. And, and, and in the wintertime, you have to have your flocks inside because it's cold in Palestine. Yeah. So for your flocks to be outside means that it was warm outside. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Joseph and Mary paid their taxes to the government. And the taxes is ripe fruit. Yeah. And that happens in the warm weather. Yeah. The Quran itself, the book of scripture of the Muslims, talks about Mary, may Allah be pleased with her, that she, in her pregnancy, at the end of it, that she was told to go out to the palm tree and, and she should shake this nakhla, this ripe uh, dates would come down. And so the ripened dates we know come in August. Mm -hmm. It's in the heat of the summer. So all religious traditions show that Jesus was born in the warm weather. Mm -hmm. But in order to make the religion fair seeming to the nature worshippers, they incorporated the birth of Jesus at the time of the winter solstice. So this is where Christmas originally begins. Now, the, 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 the main character in Christmas today, for most people, is not really Jesus, only for religious people. Yeah. The main character is Santa Claus. Yeah. And Santa Claus really, um, many people believe, and you'll see a number of books that are written, 
he is like the image of Saturn mm -hmm. because there's a picture of Saturn that was uh, done in the Sistine Chapel and he's, he's a well-built man with a beard and he's on a sleigh yeah. but he has snakes with wings yeah so that's similar to a sleigh with the reindeers uh -huh. that don't normally fly but they're pulling Santa Claus around uh -huh. it's like Saturn right? yeah. um, similarly uh, the whole name Saint Nicholas or Saint Nick um, Nicholas himself was a bishop who lived in uh, Constantinople in what is now Turkey and he was a very austere person he used to fast and he was very different than the jolly merry Santa Claus that we know of that's a different image altogether I was shocked even more to find out that in Germany they actually considered uh, Saint Nicholas to be the devil mm. he was dressed in red and you can go in their traditions and uh, they considered him to be a dangerous person. They would say to their children, don't go outside in the, in the winter because Nicholas will get you. <laughs> you see, and so this is why up until 1647, the British Parliament banned Christmas yeah. in England. It was against the law to celebrate Christmas because they considered it to be uh, a satanic type of thing, yeah. a nature worship thing, not a Christian uh, ceremony.